Hey there, my name is Angel, and in this channel, we talk about things like AI tech, business, and personal growth. In today's episode, we're gonna go over some AI tools that people in China are developing and using. Specifically, we'll look at perplexity-like alternatives in China. Basically, chatbots that can browse the web and do research for you. Personally, I'm fluent in Chinese, so I have been also keeping tabs in the AI tools in China. And I think there are some pretty neat tools out there that people don't know about in the States. Whereas I believe in China, China, a lot of people know about ChatGPT, Claude, Perplexity, Midjourney, and whatnot. I thought it would be cool to learn about these tools because just in case you also know Chinese or in case you want to know more about AI tools in general outside of America, let's get started. Basically, there are four tools that we're going to look at today. The first one is called Metasol.cn. The second one is called Kimi AI. The third one is Doubao AI. And the last one is EarnieBot from Baidu. So let's take a look at the first one which is Metasol AI in Chinese Mi Ta AI and there's no ads to this thing it's amazing and you can decide where you want to search what you want to search but we can really quickly use one example we're gonna do market size data for the electric car industry and we're gonna search you can do a simple search you can do a more comprehensive search or you can do like a deep research I'm just gonna stick with the default one, which I think is this one. And they gave all the answers in Chinese, but this is really interesting. This UI that they're providing with one prompt and one click of a button, I got this PowerPoint that's displayed pretty nicely. And I know that this isn't Chinese. Let's try to see if they can give it to me in English. Okay, so even though I asked them to respond in English, they are not giving the answer to me in English, but I still think it's so cool that with one click, you can get a whole PowerPoint. And the UI is really simple and clean. You can also search photos. Oh, actually it did give it to me in English and it gave me all these PDFs as supporting data. I think there was a little bug earlier, but look, it highlighted everything and I'm gonna ask it to give me a PowerPoint, but I guess the PowerPoint is in Chinese, so you can't really use it in English for now. This one is more academic. The academic one is really good for this kind of intent. Then you can have a photo search. They gave some chart that they were able to find. I definitely think this is better than Google if your purpose is for research. And I would say right now it looks almost even superior than perplexity if you can read Chinese. If you're in market research, if you are an analyst, if you're a consultant, this tool is great for you. Even as a product manager, I think this is amazing. The only thing is I'm not able to create an account because I don't have a Chinese phone, but you can use it without creating an account. It's created by this company in Shanghai in 2018. They have their own model, Meta LLM. And in 2023, they passed this from the government probably. Right now, I think it's still an MVP. They're still working on it, probably a startup. There's no ads. You can even upload a photo to analyze the photo now. The coolest feature in this Meta Soul is the PowerPoint feature. I thought it was really cool and the cited sources are pretty legit. I think it's going to be a really good tool for people. The next tool is called Kimi. So Kimi is created by Moonshot AI from China. And if we input the same prompt, let's see if it's more English friendly this time. It does the same thing where it's searching the web and it says it read 56 pages from the web to come up with this answer. They also have a more intense search version that you can try out and it uses some credits. I think you can do five per day. This one is more English friendly as you can tell that after I just typed that, it responded in English. It gave me this English response Responds with cited notes. You can see where it's coming from, the sources. And one thing to note here, they have some AI assistant, sort of like the ChatGPT assistant that you can try out and use. They also have an app on the mobile phone and they have different types of uh, AI assistant for you to tag and use. So what's unique about Kimi is that you can install a lot of documents. Here you can install all types of docs to chat with the docs and analyze questions. This deep search feature is really good. Let's try this prompt again and see how it's different. It's looking at 56 web pages. I think the data is relatively similar. 
to what I saw earlier. This is more similar to perplexity, if anything. Let's see the next one. I think this dou bao is more similar to perplexity. This is the next tool. So under here, there's a regular chat, but the feature that's more similar to perplexity is called AI search. So I could type this and do a deep search on it and then just input it. And again, this is all free. You can get a sense of what this is. This one took it from 10 sources. So it's less sources than the other ones from Kimi or Mita. But let's see what the responses it came out with. I, th it, I think it's kind of funny that Randomly, it would have a Chinese word in there. It's not perfect. And also, the sources are not really linked. I guess you'll have to go over there one by one to search for it. It's kind of buggy. See how it didn't translate it into Eng English? Oh, I guess it does translate it into English. But I, I guess there's a blurb in Chinese and then there's some English. And also, the thing that I don't like about it is that it uses l less sources. Usually the cited sources should be around where the data is located, like in Perplexity or in Kimi or Mita, but this one doesn't have it. They just list the sources. Dobao still has a way to go, but I think the advantages of this is that they have a lot of assistance to help you write better and you can do images like Midjourney. You can do AI readings, upload docs like Kimi and analyze and summarize those. It's more like ChatGPT than Perplexity, but it does have an AI search capability. The last one that we're going to go over today is called Winston Ian. The English in the news, they call it Ernie Bot, and it's from Baidu. And basically, because it's from Baidu, it can search the web. Let's see if it will do it for us. In the background, it says this is just for demonstration purposes. So I guess they, they don't want to be in trouble with anything like that yet. Here again, I don't see any citations. The speed at which it generates is pretty slow. With this Ernie bot, I think it's more like ChatGPT than Perplexity, but it does give you those sources that the data comes from. You can see here they do four things like you can write creative writing, you can analyze a doc so you can upload a doc or upload photo, you can analyze a web page. Let's see what happens if I do this. Oh, I have to log in. Because I have a Baidu account, I'm able to log in. But you can do this web search. For example, maybe I can do kimi.a summarizes what the website does. This is a feature that perplexity can totally do too, so I'm not surprised by it. Here's a marketplace with all the assistants and agents or whatnot. It's very close to ChatGPT and you can use different models. You would have to sign up for the VIP to use the other models. Let me see what it includes. This Ernie bot, they also have another tool that is more like a Canva AI or Adobe Express AI that is photo editing based. But I'm more curious if this one has an API. Okay, it looks like it does have an API too that you can use. In order to use the Ernie Bot API, you have to use the Baidu Cloud. It's kind of like Google Firebase. Okay, so this is the Google Firebase competitor. You can use their API SDK. You can do RAG. Basically, if you want to build an app, you can use the Baidu Qianfan Cloud service to build it. It does have an API. It's just you have to go through the API page. Those are the four perplexity alternatives from China. There's one last one, which is called Tongyi.ai from Alibaba. I didn't include it because it doesn't have web search capability. It's more of a regular chatbot, but this is from Ali Yun, which is the Alibaba's cloud. You could test it out too. It's more like ChatGPT where it doesn't have live web search capability. So that's why I didn't include it, but it is another AI tool that is ranked highly like native Chinese AI tool. So that's it for today. Make sure to give it a try and check it out and see if you like any of these. All these AI tools are just tools. You need to be the one initiating and actually do something with it. So I urge you to not just learn about it, but try using them. Let me know what topics you want me to cover in the next video. Thank you.